Hey there, Gummy Worms. Gummy Worm Jim here. Welcome back to Virginia. Let's get right back into this because this game has been really, really fascinating so far. So I'm stoked to find out where this is going. Alright, Tuesday. This is day two on the job. That's the diary that I found in uh, Lucas's little dark room. <clears throat> Cannon Observatory. Lucas was into space, apparently. Drew little UFOs, that's cool. Okay, a little lookout point. And I'm asleep. I think that's what the, what's going on here. This is me entering a dream state as I'm like, oh, off to sleep. Okay, this is the house where Lucas, Lucas, Lucas's family's house. That's what Susan or whatever from the diner looks like. Park rangers and like the chief of the forest service. I recognize those kids. That's the kid that. That's the little bastard that flipped me the bird. Should you be smoking in the living room, young lady? I don't think so. This poor mom is just freaking super distraught, which, I mean, obviously, with Lucas missing. Why are you, uh, nailing Lucas's door shut? Whoa. This means something. Wow, it's very red. Okay. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at the trees and the clouds. Oh, my. Oh, wait. The assistant director of the FBI. What's up? But, whoa! I think that's a metaphor for us throwing Halper in under the bus. It's a zero o'clock, I must still be dreaming. Whoa! Hi! Hi, Tatanka! What is with the red doors? The color red is obviously very important right now. Third floor, going down. Actually, this isn't my floor. General? Who are you? Is he like the head of the FBI? He's like kind of military decorated. Halperin's office. Let's go. We gotta get to work. We gotta find this kid. Halperin's not here. I dig the basketball hoop. Maria Halperin, okay. What is this? Oh, it's a locket. Who is that? I, uh, ooh. Ish, uh, hi. I wasn't, no, I, I was just looking, okay. Now I feel like an asshole. Sorry, uh, are you... Yeah, you got the angry face. Okay. Alright, that, that's fine. Sorry. Off to work then? Listen, uh... <clears throat> I don't know. I really don't know what to say to her after that. That's... Oh, I recognize that. That's... Remember I thought that that was a water tower. Uh, it was the second... The, the third photograph over in Lucas's dark room. I know this place. So this is by the old observatory. And whoa. Alright, definite Firewatch vibes. This reminds me of Ned's hideout. Although this seems to be more of like a... A teenager hang hangout, but teenagers with money because they're smoking Marlboros. I remember when I was a teenager, we, we were like scrounging up to buy some basics. <laughs> Whatever, enough about that. What is that? Ooh. Hi. Hello. 
cute little Angry Birds Robin. Hi. Yeah, look, he's a cutie. Oh, Halperin's smiling. That's nice. That's a good change. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Did I just kill my partner on day two? Oh, my God. Oh, thank God you're alive. Okay. I thought I killed her. I was like, I definitely... Whew. I was like, I pulled down a board, and then another board fell on her. What's with the baby basket? That's the Forest Service guy and the general. Yeah, okay. I don't know what we did. I, we didn't find the kid or anything. We just found a clubhouse. I think, right? This is a morgue. I don't like being here. Why is why am I in the morgue? Tools and whatnot. What is that? Little angel figurine and some glue. I don't know why that's in the morgue, but whatever. Hi. The birdie. It died. Uh, whoa. <gasps> I work miracles. What can I say? Yeah, you know. I just like to wake up sometimes and bring things back from the dead. Oh, hi. You didn't see anything. This must be a dream anyway. Back here again, huh? At least it's taped off now, we don't have to look at that. Oh, wow, that is nice. This game is super pretty. Like, for being so minimalist, it's very, very pretty. I'm gonna try not to make a whole lot of, like, jump references, but it really does remind me of Firewatch a lot. Look at that, there's a stereo on a rock. What if it's the same studio? No, well, 505? I don't remember. Whoa, kid, this kid needs to learn how to freaking respect a federal agent. Get him, helper in. Don't. Oh, you little shit. I'll take it from here. Aw, oh, man, the locket, I don't... Really? Pretty sure those are illegal in Virginia. See a wallet? Wonder how much cash you got on you. Should have thought about that before you broke the law. Put it all in evidence. What do we have here? Clues, 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 clues. What the heck? What is this? That's LSD. That is definitely LSD. Don't, don't ask me how I know. I'm sorry, Grandma. I'm sorry. But um, that's definitely paper LSD right there. I don't know why I took some of it. Maybe I'm going to go fry on acid. I don't know. Home again, home again. Jiggity jig. All right. So talk to me, Cord. What am I? What are you doing here? It looks like I'm turning in the file. Is that the file on Halperin? She seems like a cool partner. I don't know what I'm. I, what, what what would I be reporting about her? That she has a locket that she cares about quite a bit that was yanked off of her neck by some freaking punk kid. What you thinking? Did I do good? Am I rolling over on my partner? Am I like 
throwing her under the bus? What's going on here? Okay. Log in. Password bubble butt. Uh, okay. Ann Tarver, that's me. <clears throat> Query, okay. Helper in one found. All right, there's one entry here. It looks like it's been moved. She's she's an active agent, Maria Halperin. Yeah. Right, she had a second name. She had Ortega. Let's look for that. Two entries, Maria Ortega and Judith Ortega. Maria Ortega is an active agent C Halperin. Okay, so that's she changed her name. Judith. It looks like her info's not here. Refer to records. Huh. Old school. That's microfilm. There was a point where every library had like a microfilm thing where you could go and look up old newspapers and old records and stuff. Because it was just easier than storing actual old newspapers. They would just like make a transparent film of it. But this is FBI microfilm, so this is going to be good stuff. That music! Commending one of our own. Ortega, okay. She's setting herself as a role model for law-abiding colored women everywhere. So she was like a highly praised um, African-American female FBI agent. And if this is 1993, then that must have been in like the, what, 50s, 60s? Confidential memorandum. The Ortega woman continues to make wild accusations regarding conspiracy. Okay, okay, wait. She uses unconventional methods and we can they can use that to their advantage? So the FBI planned to stab her in the back, basically. They didn't like the fact that there was a black female agent that was, like, climbing the ranks. That's the same kind of file that I have for Halperin. Is that what's going on here? Am I am I blackballing my partner? Be like, and her mom had the same thing happen to her. That's jacked up. I'm gonna have to do something about this. <laughs> How's it going? Help her in, yeah. Good morning, good morning. Who's this? Tom Bacon, running for mayor. Vote for me! Yeah, you're a, you're a dumbass. But whatever, I'll take your stupid button. Yeah, I know we had kind of a rough day yesterday. Uh, Alright, we'll talk later. Thanks. Okay, so I don't know what the construction company thing is all about, but... The pamphlet said that they were going to be doing some kind of big expansion? Like, like space for over a thousand vehicles and... Halperin, what are we doing here? What's what's the plan? I'm confused. I do like observatories, though, and apparently Lucas did as well, because he was drawing pictures of it and taking pictures of it. And... That's a cool dome. Here we are. I'm not sure what we're doing here, Halperin, but let's... Ooh, look at that. 
telescopes are amazing, man. If you ever look up, there's a documentary, I don't remember what it's called, but it's about the first big telescope that was ever made with, like, pieces of crazy mirrors, and it was just awesome. Look at this flower. What kind of flower is that? Looks like some kind of crazy, um, not an iris, maybe iris. No, what's the, the ones that grow in, like, swamps. Upstairs we go. Someone's here. That's the priest dude and the like chain smoker teenager girl. What are you up to, dude? Don't be a creeper. This is their house. So that's Lucas's dad, the, the red-haired uh, preacher guy. Breaking and entering. All right, I guess I got to watch the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll put my fingerprints on that. Why not? We're in this together, right? Here we go. Now we're both criminals. So I'm fairly certain we're doing this without a warrant, but... I do recognize Lucas's house right away. Well, whoa, that is beautiful, man. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted by how pretty they made the, like, landscape of this game. Parents' room with two separate beds. That's beautiful, man. See all those stars? Okay. The door. Remember in my dream, the door was glowing red. So, something is in here. That's a weird juxtaposition. Freaking deer heads and a giant cross. I'm getting weird vibes from this, from this father. What you got? What you got? Okay, apparently not the book. I don't care about that. It looks like a cigar box? <clears throat> What's in it? What's in it? Oh, I don't get to know yet. Okay, Sojourner's Truth? Is this a dive bar? <laughs> I actually got a smile from Halper, and that's... That's a first. Are we going undercover, or are you just, like, looking for a booty call? I don't get it. How strange. Nice. Beautiful music. What's up, Grandma? You are tatted up. That's like the old biker grandma. That's tight. You guys are great. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm loving it. Hey, how's it going? Enjoying your drink? You don't even have a drink. You're just holding onto the pole to hold yourself up. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Great band, right? I'm gonna leave Halper in, Halper in over there to try and get her. Get her some of that sweet ginger booty. Hi, dude. Um right in front of him. Oh yeah, I'm married. Here's this ring that I just put on. <laughs> Get out of here. Get your drunk ass. These guys are great. I really like the ambience that they make in this game. Like Just everything. The, the sound is design, all of it. It's very, very good. Top-notch stuff on this. Alperin, you hearing this? This band is awesome. That's cool, she's just like in a chant, because there's no word. Oh, right, the, the, I freaking totally forgot about the cigar box. That's... 
Nothing in this game makes any sense. Me and Alfred are getting down though, who cares? Screw it. Why why the bird? Was the bird even really there? Was any of is any of this really happening? You never can tell. Wow, this is Crack open a cold one. This is beautiful. Oh look, you got the observatory over there. There's cars parked at the observatory in the middle of the night. That's weird. Where am I? Oh. Alperin, we make a good team. This is beautiful. I really, really, really like this. This is super intriguing right Alright guys, I'm going to leave this episode here. This is really, really cool. This game is getting really intriguing. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time. Until then, I'm Gummy Worm Jim, signing off.